All right, so. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome. I uh. What can I do you for? I started looking into different stuff, um, about health, changing my diet. You know, the doctors they were saying like, you know, diet may not affect anything because we don't have no proof of that. But like I said, diet, diet fixes a lot Stranger. of issues. I'll pay a pretty penny. It fixes a lot of issues that a lot of people have. Crossing your T's, dotting your eyes, that's the way to be. But anyway, changing my diet and all that stuff really jump start my health to a better position than what it was. Your weapons are in and, good uh, hands, mate. I'll see you right. Anything oh yeah, let me check so something. I want to make sure the merchant ain't got like some thermal vision all my wares are in tip-top shape i assure you maybe it's here it's his high power scope no oh, my back is killing me years haven't been kind to us i suppose nah molding a weapon to suit your specific needs <laughs> it's a thing of beauty Trying to figure out what I want to upgrade. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Oh yeah, the Dazzled, magnum. are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. Got Let's leave it for now. Come back anytime. So as I was changing my lifestyle to help with my condition, you know, I got better. You know, I had my ups and downs, got sick. Um, I didn't go back to school, couldn't go back to school. I taught myself to code. I did a lot of stuff. But then I got, like, I'm, I'm jumping because there's like a lot of small stuff that happened that I could talk about. But it makes it be simpler if I just jump ahead. So anyway, I got um, sick, what was it, not last year, but the year before last. I caught the flu. Uh, and, oh yeah, as you guys know, I was sick all through COVID. I couldn't even go to the hospital. Like, right when I was getting better with my hydronitis, um, I couldn't even go back to the hospital for follow-up visits to possibly get some more advice or something because I had gotten so good at what I was doing on my own with the doctors. The doctors were asking me for advice to help with other people that have my condition. Because they were surprised how fast I was improving. And they wanted to know what I was doing. So they could possibly tell another patient. Like suggest them. Suggest it to them. Which is cool. Uh, that I was able like. Even though I was going through something bad. My bad situation. You know what I'm saying? Like. It. It helps other people going through my situation. Because all it takes is for somebody. To sit there and say you know I'm not finna just lie down and like die or like be ill from this um, and a lot of people do that not because they're weak or anything like that just some people just sit back and say you know it is what it is sometimes you know so uh that was 2019 early and then like after that that's when obviously covid hit and um COVID didn't really affect me because I was like bedridden and I was stuck in the house anyway. <laughs> uh, it didn't really affect me personally. I'm not saying like, you know, other people going through things or family members being lost. Well, I, I thankfully, nobody in my family passed away, but I understand other people went through stuff. So I'm not taking away from you all, but I'm just saying personally, it didn't really affect me and my life wasn't really changed because I was already like super ill prior to it happening. Anyway. So, but anyway, after the, I, I'm a fast forward because all that in between was me just trying different things with diets, trying to get better, things like that. I got to, um, about a few years ago, like two years ago, near Christmas time, I caught the flu. Now you might say, how you know you didn't catch COVID? Well, if that was COVID, 
uh, COVID is. I think they just gave me this health kit. I think they planted this in my, I don't remember picking that up. If that was COVID, again, I'm not belittling COVID for those who caught it, but if that was COVID, then COVID was not as bad as people made it to be, at least for me, if that's what I experienced. Um, yeah, I want some shotgun shells. What else do I want? Do I want submachine gun ammo? I do. So anyway, I got sick and this is what, this is again, going back to what I said about diet and my condition. When I was sick, um, because uh, again, I have family members taking care of me and the family members taking care of me are, you know, you know how your family is. They're, they're annoying. I mean, you know, I love my family, but you know, family members can be annoying. So I'm being annoyed, even though like I'm sick with the flu, plus I'm dealing with not my hydronitis as bad as I described earlier. Cause like I said, I've been doing stuff to make it better, but it's still like bad. Um, I'm dealing with all that. And then I got family members that's afraid that I got COVID, even though I didn't, I had the flu. Drink this, take this medicine. And I knew not to take any, ingest anything in my body. Cause like I said, anything can trigger my hydronitis. Simp the, the modern day, not modern day, uh, the most simplest food that everyone eats, that I used to eat, can mess me up. I'll give you a prime example. I can't eat chocolate, or at least I don't think I can. I can't eat garlic. I can't eat onions. I can't eat. I, I just it'd be simple if I tell you what I do eat. I eat ground beef or any form of beef. I only season stuff with salt and pepper. I eat uh frozen fruit to make smoothies. I use agave syrup to add sugar into it, and I eat greens like you know mustard, turnip, collard greens. And I eat goat cheese. That's it. I don't eat anything else. That's like what five, six items. And I did I mention I put salt and pepper on food. So that's about it. Any those are the foods I know for sure do not cause me injury. And some of them might still cause me injury, and I just don't notice it yet. But if I eliminate anything else, I won't be eating nothing, and I'm gonna be gone and go. Whoa! What the heck was that? Why was Leon not facing the right direction? Bro, did I finally kill this thing? It looked like I shot all of the points, but maybe... It looked like I shot them all, but it's still alive. I think it's better if I just run away from this thing. Yeah, let me just run away. Like, forget all that. Like... I'm, I know you can kill it, but we ain't got time for all that. We ain't got time for all that. We got stuff to do. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I need to go here anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let me pass. It might be something in here, or I'll come across that and say, hey, this is kind of what you need to take care of these things but we'll see oh it could follow me crap but yeah as I was sick I was being uh annoyed to take medicines so that made me like my hydrogenized to trigger again but now it's triggering while I'm sick like with the flu like that wasn't good at all so I got bad written again and now I'm like somewhat getting out of it now like that's why you see me streaming and recording now um and it's it's still hard like it's painful to sit i can't really sit why i have hydronitis in my buttocks area so it's it hurts it's like i'm sitting on a wound like right now i'm not really sitting as much as i'm kind of halfway laying on one side of my body awkwardly because it's comfortable Com uh, compared to uh, sitting directly on my body, uh, my behind.
But I just gave that long-winded update for anyone who doesn't know my story and doesn't know what's going on. Oh yeah, I also I cannot leave this out. Like I said, um, this isn't too because some people say this in the wrong way. I understand that everybody believes in God. I believe in God. I worship Jehovah God. That's me. If you don't, well, that's you. Um, however, I cannot leave out that I got. I've always known God my whole life in the sense, like you know, I've talked to Jesus and I prayed, and my my prayers were answered. So I always knew of God. It wasn't that I didn't, but I never really got into reading the Bible, studying, and stuff like that. And that that occurred. The last time I got bedridden, like with the beginning, like where I got bedridden, because I'm still kind of, I'm getting out of being bedridden now. So it's not like I'm fully recovered, but I got closer to God and that has been a great asset. Is that the right word? A gr it just, it's been a great thing. It has definitely helped me a lot. Not just with my health condition, just me being a better person. Um, so that's also an important part of the story. That's an important part of my story. You cannot leave God out of the equation. You know, what's funny speaking of God and things like that. I don't know the full story, but I saw some dude, I guess it's happened in the super smash brothers community. I don't know the full story. I just know what he said and that's it. But the Smash Brothers people was coming at him heavy. I don't even follow people who talk about Smash, but this guy, I guess, somehow he found wound up in my feed. But this guy, he's like wearing a Jesus Matters shirt and um, he's speaking about, he's speaking from the Bible, but it was like, all right, if y'all want me to get into religion, I'm not religious, by the way. I worship Jehovah God. I follow Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but I'm not religious. What and I'll explain what that means because some people say, hey, "What's the?" They don't, you know. There's no difference. You're just saying the same thing twice. No, there's a clear difference, and I'm gonna tell you why. Listening to that dude, he's religious, and it's not me like pointing the finger at him. I'm just saying what he was doing was, from my understanding, he was going to Smash Brothers tournaments, and there might have been people there that were you know living uh see that see i knew that i knew this had to be here somewhere there were people living a lgbtq lifestyle and i don't know what they were doing or like he didn't describe all that he just said they were there so it, that's really crazy so people who happened to be homosexual were at a smash brothers tournament i i don't know what else there was to it but that was enough for him to go on this tirade and this rant and you know you know he's he's quoting the bible where the bible says homosexuality is a sin now the thing about all that is is that it's true however that's not what you, when you if you know christ if you know god if you know christ you know that christ came on this earth and he died for all of us the sinner the saint whatever you want to say every last person has the opportunity to know god and to reap the benefits of knowing christ and in you knowing christ you will learn about his father who is god that is the point christ was on this earth He's the only one that's been next to Jehovah God. And he, um, by him being on this earth and showing us how we're supposed to move as humans, what did he do? What did Jesus do? You know, people like saying that. What did Jesus do? Well, what did Jesus do? Jesus didn't go around. Now, let me, let's not get it twisted now. You read your Bible. There were times where people were tripping. And when I'm, I'm paraphrasing stuff here. When I say tripping, people were doing stuff that was wrong and like in the church and jesus got mad and flipped over tables and i think a lot of people know stuff like so know those stories but jesus was you know he never said that 
any of the things that his father who was Jehovah like he never said those things were incorrect so yes when God said you're not supposed to be homosexual you're not when you say you're not supposed to oh, let me be let me reframe reframe that because there, there's an issue I've had a whole Twitter debate of me trying to explain to people that's part of the LGBTQ community this and it's not because I go out my way to do this what happens is when people are misquoting the Bible it doesn't anger me it's just I know that's going to make people get away from God because you're misquoting the Bible so when I'm seeing people from the LGBTQ community misquote the Bible and say that oh this Bible verse about homosexuality was a mistranslation that was about men messing with little boys well I can debunk that number one there's no proof that that was mis um mis translated I was trying to figure out the word then there's also um anytime you read these articles of these people claiming it was mistranslation it's not actually like a it's no proof it's just their opinion like if you actually read it and you're not biased they're just giving an opinion they think they feel they whatever um but they're not saying okay it's mistranslation let me show you the original translation because the original translation says this and you know what i'm saying they don't do that so but i can't but i don't even have to go that far with you if you just know the ten commandments i can um well if you know some of the ten, if you know some not the ten commandments if you know some of the many commandments let's just put it to that way because it's more than ten if you know some of the many commandments i can tell you right now how you can't get around this even if you want to believe even though that's not what it says that homosexuality is not a sin like it's fine to do let me show you how it's still not you do know that fornication is a sin you're not supposed to fornicate you you sex is for the married god only permits man and woman to be married so before you say well homosexuals can get married that the, the government allows that god never said nothing about no man and a woman can get married there's nowhere in the bible you can point to a man and a woman being married or god approving of a man and a woman being married so you can't that that would be you lying um if you said so it's only for married people sex that's what's supposed to be now we all know most people i like the way this looks this is cool um we know most people have sex out of wedlock and they, everybody sins like that's why I, that's that's my overall point with this whole thing about people judging people of the lgbt lgbtq community we're all sinners just because their sin is homosexuality doesn't mean they're not they're worse than someone that's not like if if we we love people who sin all the time if you love yourself you're a sinner me even though i'm closer to god and jehovah god blesses me every day jesus jesus you know through jesus i'm blessed every day that's something I've, i can't lie and sit here and pretend like i'm not like i know a lot of y'all don't believe and stuff like that but i'm telling you it's real jesus is real jehovah is real when i call upon them for help they help me all the time and I want other people to know who they are. So that's why I'm telling you guys this. I know you're saying, like, this is a gaming channel. Yeah, it's a gaming channel, but, you know, I'm still a... I'm still me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to talk about whatever. I'm talking... Uh, I'm going to have a whole dedicated channel for talking about God. So don't think, like, if you just come here just for gaming... Uh, I'm going to have a whole channel just dedicated for this type of topic. But in the meantime, until I make that channel, um, while I'm thinking of stuff to talk about, if I want to tell you about the great things that Jesus has done for me, that Jehovah has done for me, I will. But anyway, going back to the dude about Smash Brothers. Ow. Let me go. Thank you. Going back to the dude about Smash Brothers. Him complaining about LGBTQ people being there or whatever. I mean, if he's going to complain about that, he got to complain about everybody being there because everybody's a sinner, including his damn self. I don't know him from a can of paint, but I know he sins. Every man does. Every single one of us does. And um, I know some people might say, you know, in the Bible, say you're not supposed to judge. You're not supposed to judge unfairly. 
I don't like I said, I don't know what them people were doing in there. I don't know. Maybe they were doing some insane. I, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing, but he was tripping. Like he was acting like they were just bumping uglies in front of everybody, and everybody was like, "Oh, that's fine," because they're a part of the LGBT community. I don't know what they were doing, but I just know his attitude reminded me of so much why people get out of the church, which is fine. You don't have to go to church. Everyone has a opportunity to have a personal relationship with God. And how do you do it? Simply call out to him on your own. Call out to Jehovah God. Call out to Jesus and say, I need help. I need this. I need that. Please help. Now, you got to know who God is. You don't have to know who God is to call out to him, but you got to know who God You can't say, God, please kill this guy for me. Like, he's not going to do that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not going to work. Um, he's not going to do things that goes against his um his own morals is is that's not how that works but if you ask for things like peace i've asked for that trust me i've been angry because people are pissing me the hell off like any other person and i try to not do what we all do when you're pissed off which is you know yell back scream back cuss people out um use vulgar language like anybody that know me you probably saying man grim ain't really been cussing I'm trying not to, not because like, well, let me take that back. I never curse. Cursing is when you actually place curses on people. I'm, I'm trying to use profanity. Now that's for two reasons. Uh, monetization. Uh, <laughs> now I'll just be honest, monetization. And um, I'm just trying to practice not doing it as much. I got it pretty good. Like, you know, now when I use profanity, like I use it for flavoring jokes or I, I definitely don't use it or I try not to use it when I'm angry I don't even really get angry no more because like I was going but I, I was trying to say before I like over talk myself was when I get angry or when I used to I, instead of getting angry and you know talking junk or doing whatever we all do I pray and say Jehovah God please give me peace calm me down I'm angry Help me out. You have the stench of and he does. Like it's when I say he does, I mean it's immediately. It's not later. It's I immediately. You know. You know when you're mad and you feel like your body temperature rising. I'm talking about that type of mad. And I ask for peace. Up. Oh, it's I'm I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm not mad. Whatever I was mad about was stupid anyway. Like it just it's just dumb human stuff. So I go about my day. And a lot of people need that. Like, read your Bible. It's scripture talking about putting your anxiety on him because he can help you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, don't run away from him, man. The only reason I'm healed, able to talk to y'all, get the strength to do what I'm doing, even though I'm fighting through pain, is through them. Jesus and Job is nobody else. You know, the church and all that stuff. Like, I, I talked about it um, when I mentioned the thing about David Jaffe. I get it. I get why so many people, they, they think the church is God. So, that's they think that church building, too, is God. First of all, the church is the people. The building is, the, it's called a church building or whatever, but the um, the church is the people. The, the people in the church and what happens is the people in the church do things that are foul and messed up to many people and they relate that to well this is God or that's that's God or religion is God or whatever no people are people and God is God like I said if you read your Bible you can see Jesus dealing with the Jewish people um Telling him like get out of his father's church, get out of his father's house, because they were selling they were selling stuff in there. They were doing a bunch of crazy crap in there, and um, that happens now today. You go to church, what what is it? Some dude, especially talking about a black church, is some dude having sex with all the single and possibly married women in the church, asking for money. The church can't never get no new seats, no new air conditioning unit. The air conditioning unit never worked. But the pastor got a new car and he's wearing a Gucci suit. Like it's that's that's so I get it. So people connect those things to this is 
God can't be real or if he is then he must be messed up because look at these people no those people are just liars that's why I tell people read your Bible okay where do I need to go because clearly it's someplace I'm missing um obtain level one key get level three key override terminal it looked like I was going in the right direction no I gotta go down the floor okay I gotta go down the floor what's this all right let me see let me go back here maybe I gotta go down the floor but yeah like I said uh, when I was talking to Jaffe and him agreeing with I'm not even gonna say me I was regurgitating is that the right word I was repeating the lesson Christ taught us and he agreed with it but when he heard I got it from Jesus he didn't want to he didn't want to ride with it no more that's what I mean and speaking of like the LGBTQ community and, and the people that subscribe to homosexuality they have been lied to so much like I said this happened maybe a month ago I was on Twitter I was listen they were killing me in the sense of it was nothing but gay folks coming at me hard because I was telling them, bro, like, I get it, like, you disagree with the Bible, but trying to lie and say that the Bible says one thing it don't say is just not true. The Bible is not talking about, um, God does not agree with grown men or anybody taking advantage of children, but the whole thing about homosexuality wasn't about a man and a child. It was about, um, two grown men. So, uh, anyway when i was having this debate with people these people were just saying well like even after a while they, they started to to real because i knew the i knew the bible i'm not a bible scholar i'm getting there though i'm not a bible scholar i don't know the bible at the back of my hand but i know it enough you know what i'm saying and i'm still reading through it and you're supposed to read through it um after you finish reading the bible which is multiple books you read it again so you can keep a refresher and you can see things differently as you grow and mature and um they would know they were telling me well you just think that i'm gonna die and go to hell anyway because blah, blah 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 and i said no that's not true i don't dictate if you die first of all people don't even understand what hell is that's how much it's so much stuff i learned about like how religion has twisted the scripture if you don't know hell is um death it's just death with no return it's not this whole thing i know in the bible there's times where jesus talks in metaphors and things like that but really what death is is you're dead you're asleep even jesus referred to death as sleep you're asleep jesus offers us everlasting life through him we can come back and live in a perfect world but uh there are some people who don't want to do that they're going to choose not to like they're going to knowingly choose not to it's not like oh damn they, they, they're going to fully know it's a whole thing you got to read the bible i'm not going to go into it now but they gotta um you, you're going to choose whether you know it or not right now but at a point you're going to know you're choosing to go one path versus the other and if you choose to go the path like, you know with satan and them well you're gonna go with satan and them and they're gonna just not exist anymore they're not being tormented like the people who think satan's in hell and he's no the devil's on the earth you don't believe me look how many advertisements and things first of all the devil doesn't look like a man with a red skin and horns but like that's basically his logo and yeah he's on earth people worship you will be surprised it's, it's probably more people worshiping the devil than it is jesus uh, not Jesus, it's yeah, Jehovah anyway. And a lot of people worship Jesus. You're not supposed to worship Jesus. People don't know that either. Jesus follows his father. You don't get to the father unless you go through Christ. Because only Christ knows the father. Um, we don't know him. We ain't been around him. We only know Jesus because uh, he was he was the one that set the example. So, anyway, where was I? I was going on a on a on a spiritual uh, spiritual rant. 
you know, if, if that's even a thing but um yeah a lot of them were telling me like yo man you think i'm gonna die and go to hell anyway I'm like, i never said that and i don't believe that i don't know where you're going i just know that you god if he exists he hates me because he made me gay and i'm like i don't know that's not true I, but I know where they got that from. They've been lied to their whole life. They've been lied to because it's a coping mechanism. It's a cope. Let, all right. Now I just put it to you like this, bro. I don't care what anybody says. You go, you can't convince me otherwise. It's too much. You can say it's anecdotal evidence. I don't care what you call it. It's too many people that have, that I know growing up, that went the side of homosexuality and they have been traumatized in a way now that they could be sexual traumatization is traumatization a word we're gonna make it a word it could be sexual traumatization like they were molested or um great um i'm saying great because of algorithm but you know what i'm trying to, i'm not belittling or making fun of it's the algorithm they'll they'll come at you come after you for saying that word uh rather it's that rather it's um there are people who've made stories there's a lot of times of dudes where they say hey as a kid my my dad was abusive my mother didn't really say much but i would go to my grandmother's house and my grandmother was nice and but for whatever reason my grandmother liked dressing me up in girls clothes and they didn't know at the time it took them years and, and to become an adult and to get therapy but when their grandmother would show them love, but for some reason she had this idea to cross-dress them, which you're not supposed to do, by the way, that's a sin, you're not supposed to cross-dress. Um, it confused them. These are, the, these are men coming back, recognizing this, saying, hey, I confused the love and attention I got from grandma and wearing that cross-dressing dress, cross-dressing dress, and cross-dressing, and confused it because they, what they were saying was when they would go to these are multiple different people these these are different people with the similar stories but the person i'm thinking about right now what he said was he would go to his grandmother's house and she was a, she made clothes so she would use him as like a i guess a model or something so she but she was making clothes for girls but she would use him because he's a little boy so little boys and little girls are not that much different in body size so she would use him to make the clothes and she would compliment how he looked good in it so he's taking this all in as good he's a child but he's also getting hit with by other people that's uh you know uh gay you know what i'm saying so he so in his mind what he said he interpreted it as was well I, if i'm getting love from grandma for being this way then i'm going to keep doing it and then what happened was he unfortunately got uh great so you 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 take a combination a young boy who is confused about clothing and he doesn't like being a boy because as a boy he gets he gets treated one way at home but when he's with his grandma he dresses like a girl and pretend to be a girl he feels good then he gets great now the whole thing about the sexual stuff listen i just keep it simple it's too many grown men going to prison that were not into that none of that stuff and they get raped and then all of a sudden they come out liking dudes you know what i'm saying so clearly there's some connection to that my only point of bringing this up is the reason i sympathize with the lgbtq community because i have family and friends that that you know that's the sin of their choice you know, like it's like we know people that they're alcoholics. That's not that's you're not supposed to do that either. You're not supposed to um, be a drunkard. That's also a sin. There's everybody got their sin of choice. Whether some people fornicate, some people they are adulterers, some people are thieves. Some you know, some people got that that sin they can't seem to shake. And for the LGBT community, it's worse because people are lying to them, telling them you're born this way. You you are um you don't have an option and they believe it because it, it helps them feel better because when they when when someone's being told you don't have an option okay let me hold on, let me stop how the f am i supposed to get through this thing like what is why is this here and why is it blocking me i can't use this here what the let me go maybe it got something to do with the power 
But imagine if, like, if, if you're a thief and someone tells you, you know, God said you ain't supposed to steal. And, and other human beings will tell you you ain't supposed to steal, too. So you're getting all this reinforcement telling you you're not supposed to be a thief. But imagine if the world was different. Imagine if the world said, hey, people who steal were born to steal. They were meant to steal. They were, they have genetic code saying that. And now, now there's no proof of any of that. But that's what they're hearing. And people who like stealing, for whatever reason, because some people steal because they're desperate. And some people steal for thrills. I didn't mean, I didn't say that to rhyme, but, you know, it just happened like that. Some people steal because they're desperate. And we can sympathize with that. Most people could say, okay, a starving man or a starving woman that needs food, and nobody is willing to share. Um, and they steal to eat to survive. I mean, that's still wrong. You're still not supposed to steal, but we can understand that. Then there's people that got everything you could imagine. They just like stealing because they're a thief. They, they're in the mindset of a thief right now. But imagine if they were told they were born to steal. Imagine if they believed it. Imagine if everybody in the world was reinforcing it. Imagine if they made up medical stuff to say that, yeah, people who like stealing was born to steal. Well, that's what the LGBTQ people have went through. They're being told you were born this way because it's a coping mechanism. It helps them real feel better about things that happen to them. Let's put it to you that way. And uh, it's why so many of them have a hard time kicking it. Because on one hand, a lot of them feel like, hey, I ain't supposed to be doing this. But on the other hand, and they, then that thing comes up in their brain, well, wait a minute, I have no choice but to do it. I can't not, not do it because I'm born to do it, all right? And I can prove to you that people aren't born to do it because someone's going to say, how you know that? Well, let me put it to you this way. Tell me the baby that you knew that was horny. Tell me the baby that you knew that came out the womb that was born knowing anything to deal with sex, first of all. Because you remember, if you're born meant to do something now that doesn't mean you're going to come out the gate doing it but it but it's, there has to be evidence of something there's no evidence there's no genetic code there's no none of those things are uh proven no child is born knowing what their own sex is let alone knowing they like this like like a sex romantically none of that's there that's like saying I was I was born to like women with big butts. That that, that that's not true. I'm from a culture <laughs> where most men like women with big butts. So if I grew up around a bunch of men who like women with big butts, and all the women around me that are pretty got big butts, and then I see what big butts do, yeah, it's a high chance I'm gonna like big butts too. You understand what I'm saying? Now you might say, well, wait a minute, that most people that are LGBTQ don't grow up in a culture. Where they're promote, yeah, they're, they're yeah, they're not, but they are. Whoa, 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 whoa time out. They kind of are. I just thought about it. They're in a culture of, unfortunately, if you're a little boy and you so happen to have been raised by mama, so you pick up a lot of mama's traits. Well, now people, first of all, when I was a kid, for girls that they were boyish, they used to call them tomboys. Nowadays, I don't think they use that term. They just straight up say, oh, your daughter must be LGBTQ, must be a lesbian or something. She must be gay. Boys didn't have no term. If you was uh, feminine acting, you were just gay. So imagine you hearing you're gay all, your whole life. Imagine a little boy hearing he's gay his whole life. Imagine then combine, combine that with God forbid he gets touched or molested by it don't matter if it's the same sex opposite sex, it don't matter. And it triggers a chain reaction. All this stuff is common sense and I remember my sister and I argued about this because I told her because she believes oh you could be born gay or something. I said you can't be born gay. And my sister she does she has a lot of clients so I said well how about you do this because a lot of your clients are LGBTQ. Why don't you ask one of them? Because I said a lot of it comes from trauma. And she she asked one of her clients who was uh like I say everybody I know they all every last one of them have a story now they don't they don't just tell you, you gotta know them and they'll trust you and they'll tell you a story but a lot of them lie they a lot of them will outright say I ain't nothing ever happened to me and then years later if you know them long enough they'll be like listen when I was five when I was thirteen my uncle you know what I'm saying and what's crazy is me talking about this. And if you know who I am in my heart and me caring about people, I know mad people that's going to probably hear this and be like, this dude's a bigot. He's just pretending to care. I don't care, bro. 
I don't, I learned I learned being on Twitter. I'm not going to argue with people about my feelings and how I, my true nature about things. You just got to kick stay stick around and figure out who I am, but buddy. Listen, man, I'm getting agitated. I know it can't just because I'm talking. Where the f am I supposed to go now? Now I'm about to start using profanity. <laughs> Where the f am I supposed to go? Cause I tried to unlock that door down there, but it won't open. Like, what the? What's going on, man? I know I'm not tripping. Power control lever, bro. What the heck? Okay, I can't go through here again. I'm gonna be mad if like this this playthrough is actually gotten a little longer ever since I started telling these long winded stories. I'm gonna learn not to do that, but I already started it, so uh, f it. We 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 here now. This is almost like my old. Anyone that's been uh that used to watch me actually do my streams of me bull crapping around, just talking, talking, talking. Y'all like man, this is this is classic room right here. It's just less cussing, but. Yeah, man, I, I be, look, I'm going to stay moving like Jesus. What did Jesus do? When Jesus was getting bombarded and pelted with people who were suffering from sin and issues. And he was trying to tell them, like, to change their ways. But he was saying it in a way that was loving. It was, it was loving. It wasn't like, you know. I hate you. That's how the LGBT they take. If you just if you say anything they don't like, they, you're you're a bigot. You hate them. You want them to die. Like they would they be going to that extreme stuff. But sometimes I think they do that to be funny or like they're being over exaggerating. But some of them might really believe that. Okay. I'm looking at. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay. I'm stupid. This doesn't have any power. So I got to figure out how to turn the power on. What's this? That's the level three lock. What's this? Gap in the wall. Let's go check out this gap in the wall. Maybe this has something to do with it. Can I even check that out? No, that leads that. No, 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 I can't. Okay, so what I gotta do is, I gotta turn on the power. I gotta turn on This is the power control. So if I turn on this power, but then I can't go through that door. There's nothing over here because this leads back all the way over here. That leads all the way over here. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, I see. I see what we're doing. Okay. I'm glad I paid attention. All right. I got to go turn on the power. I'm going to get back into what I was talking about. but Because uh, I know you guys love hearing me talk. I'm, I'm going to go turn on the power. And then... uh, Where are we at? Turn on this power. And then I'm going to go all the way over here. And then drop down from this ladder, which will lead me down here. Haha, ha, I figured it out. All right, now that we figured it out, I can talk and actually make progress and stop. Um, right, matter of fact, should I save? No, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going because I didn't really do nothing, and it's this. I already have like another clip up that's gonna go up that is basically me scrambling around, just talking and fumbling and losing. Uh, all right, so. Where was I? But yeah, you, you try to talk to. It's something about that particular. I know why it's not a special like. I just I'll put it to you this way. In the Bible, it talks about. It says, "You were once murderers, homosexuals, adulterers. They basically led with every sin, every major sin that we could think of, and they say you were once doing those things, but through Christ, you don't do those things anymore." Oh my God. I, I'm lost. I'm just lost. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't go through here because I would need Ashley. Um, I'm lost, man.
It's got to be something I'm missing, bro. It's got to be something I'm missing. But basically, every sin. Do I need Ashley first? No, I don't think so. Every sin was named. The pe the sins you know people commit with titles like being a thief, all that stuff. And essentially, they were saying through Christ, you change your life around, and you you don't they don't do those things no more. And that's so important because so many people who are under the under the attack of the homosexual sin, they really believe like, yo, I this is I can't do nothing else. It's all I know to do. And I was born this way because everybody told me I was born. It's a cult. It's all of this is lies and coping mechanisms. And I'm not saying that they were lying to themselves. I'm saying they were lied to. And the lies help you cope. But it, 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 it doesn't fix the problem. The, pro, the lie is just, um, it's not a band-aid either. It's just a lie. It confuses you from actually healing and getting better and fixing whatever the issue is or whatever. It's a distraction, if anything. And if we can even take it off that, that's just what anything in life. Like, there's people I know that, like, really think they're stupid. Like, they think they're stupid because their whole life they were told. I'll give you a perfect example when I say that. Tiffany Haddish, I know some people don't like her, but she talked about how she thought she was stupid her whole life and the reason why is because when she was growing up she was always funny always considered a funny kid and obviously she's a comedian so somebody thought she was funny but some people they say this like kind of like slaying you're stupid when you're funny meaning like it just really means like you're really funny and they're just saying oh you're stupid or i guess it's equivalent saying like you're you're silly but she took it as she was dumb she didn't know they were saying it like a compliment to her comedic abilities. Which I know somebody might say, well, well damn, doesn't that mean she is stupid? No. It just means she didn't understand the lingo. So, she believed she was stupid. And she said she would not try to succeed in school and try to do anything because anything to deal with education because she just thought she was dumb. That's how powerful hearing things can be if you really believe it that's why i always try to um be honest tell the truth and do it the right way because i don't want to offend somebody now look if me telling the truth and being honest and being respectable offends you well you're just gonna be offended bro because some people that's what they want like they want they want to be offended. They, they it, you you can do everything humanly possible. They're gonna be mad at what you said. Well, then at that point, it's nothing you can do about it. It's nothing you can do when the overly sensitive come for you. And a lot of the folks be lying, man. Like nobody want to talk about. I'm I'm all right. I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to. Uh. I'm going to cut this one. I got to look back at this footage. I might not even upload this. No, no. I, I, I talked about some good stuff. I'm going to upload this. But what I'm going to do is. I'm going to save. Start recording again. And this time. I'm just going to play. I'm going to talk. But I'm going to talk about just the game. I'm not going to talk about nothing serious. Nothing like that that get me distracted because I know this ain't that complicated. So let's save. All right, now that we're done talking about serious topics that get me kind of distracted, I'll get better at doing that by the way. Let's look and see what we need to do. Okay, this is the terminal to overwrite is down below this will overwrite the card what is this is that's a level three lock i'm going to go back to this terminal and see what's like why won't i 
why can't I slot my like maybe I gotta shoot do I have to shoot that thing I don't know but clearly I can't I have to turn the power to this okay so we got that I got turned to power I'm gonna turn I turned the power to this I'm gonna go down here oh let me look at the thing so I can go down here I can go I go into the freezer and I can go this light this, this is going outside so I can always go outside all right so I can go down here I can come in here I can is this a button I can use no I can't use this I'm making sure it's nothing not nothing up here I can touch there's nothing up here I can interact with maybe I'm missing something okay it looks like we're in the clear now let's go downstairs is there anything in here let me make sure is there anything to interact with because maybe it's something i'm supposed to press and i missed it nope 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 it's looking all good all right now we're gonna come in here <laughs> i know something this is annoying but bro like the last two videos i was distracted so hey we gotta make progress so we can end this tonight tonight even though by the time i upload this it's gonna be days I'm a been done with the game. I'll probably be on my second playthrough or something. But um I might upload more than one video a day. I might try that. I will upload my videos at eight in the morning my time. Maybe I'll change the time period too. Okay, these guys I do I have to attack these guys? Is that it? Is, it, is that what it is? That's exactly what it is. I need this wrench. I have to kill this thing. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Well, I don't like that, uh, I mean, I get it, because I think it was in the original game like that, too. I don't like how I need to have, like, this out to actually do damage. Is there anything else? Because you never know. They might have like some treasure inside of one of them. I probably have to fight these things anyway. That would be a problem because I ain't got no... Uh, I don't think I got no bullets. See how fast I was able to solve that just by like shutting the hell up? You know, you know. I'm going to get better as I... Uh, keep saying stream. As I record more and learn how to pace my long with it conversations oh hold on oh it's the regular ones oh, i was wondering why his why he wasn't going down i'm like shooting him in the leg well, i'm shooting this dude in the leg he's not dying Not the regenerator. Do I have any, uh... Can I even make any? Nope. I'm gonna have to just... Unless... Hold on, let me see something. Can I take this scope and put it on something else? I can't, uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, come on, bro. What the heck? Why is that not... Am I, like, that off? Am I missing? Uh... I feel like DSP every time I say, uh... You know what? How about we just leave? How about that? I only got 12 bullets. I ain't got time messing with you. I got stuff to do. I was gonna say some other word, but you know. I got stuff to do. Alright, we're gonna be getting Ashley back soon because you can clearly hide her in there. Yeah, I'm going to keep them other uploads. I was like, man, maybe I should delete that. But no, nah, I think the message and things I was talking about was good enough to keep it. So, we're keeping it. We're keeping it. Like I said, I'm going to have a whole channel talking about serious topics. So, don't think that this is going to be something consistent. It was just something I had on my brain. I want to keep things separate because... Actually, I just want to keep it separate. Turn. <laughs> End of chapter. All right.